everybody. Welcome to Kitchen Talk with Grandma. I'm so glad you guys could come up in the kitchen with me today. Uh, before we get started, you guys know what the routine is. You know what you need to do. Go ahead, look right down there, down there at the bottom of your screen. Go ahead and get all that down there taken care of. Just get that out the way so we can be done with that, okay? At the end of the episode, you can come back as always and give me any type of reviews or comment that you would like to leave for Grandma, okay? So today, you know, we're just gonna um, just do a little talking today. I don't have anything special planned for today, so I'm not gonna keep you guys very long. But before we get started, I did prepare a little something something for myself for dinner later today, tonight. And I'm just gonna walk you guys through it because I actually just started making it and just got to going with it. And I was like, well, I'm already into it. So I just walked them through it, okay. So what I did, I made um, a cheeseburger casserole, or if you wanna call it a cheeseburger pie, you know, either way, but I just call it a casserole, okay? So it's very, very simple, and it's really easy dish to make, and it takes that dish all together about 20, 25 minutes from start to begin, from start to end. It's a very simple dish. And most kids like this dish, so, you know, it's something that you might want to throw together at nighttime for your, in the afternoons for your kids. If you've had a long day at work and you don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen, this may be something you might want to throw together with them. You can put a side with it. You can put uh, some corn on the side with it. You can put some broccoli on the side with it. Uh, you can make a salad to go on the side with it. So it's a dish, it's a little versatile dish that you can put different side items to go with it and make it into a full two or three quarts meal, okay? But, um, um, let me see, where I wanna start? Well, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start. What I use is about a half a pound of ground chuck because like I said, when I cook, I'm either cooking for myself or just for me and dad. So I don't try not to make a whole lot. So about a half a pound of the ground chuck, if you're making more, at least a pound, or you can do it with the ground chicken or ground turkey. <laughs> But you guys know that dad ain't trying, if it ain't ground chuck, he's not gonna eat it. So I'm using ground chuck today. So with the ground chuck, I chopped up uh, about a half an onion. I chopped up two uh, uh, bell peppers, a yellow one and a red one, and just chopped them up. And I mixed that in with my ground beef and I um, browned that and scrambled that up till it was you know, done, till it was brown all the way through. It wants to get brown. Well, in between me doing that, I did put my seasoning on there. I put my garlic powder. I did my onion powder. I did a little bit of just regular Lowry seasoning salt and a little black pepper. So, you know, mixing all that together, brown it up, bring it to a, a brown, drain it off. You want to drain it just like you would if you was making spaghettis or anything else. You want to, you know, drain your ground beef and stuff. And you just sit that to the side once you get that together. So once you do that, um, what I use is the uh, Big Wiz um, um, batter mix. And you know, this is the kind that you can do it, because I also can use this to make pancakes and and um, waffles when the, when the grandkids are over. I use this right here. So about a half a cup of the biswet, okay? Just mix it in a bowl. You gotta do um, two eggs. Well, if you're making it for more than yourself or more than two people, do about a cup. Do about a cup of the biswet. Do your two eggs, and then you got a half a cup of milk to go, you know, in that. I use some almond milk, but you can use any kind of milk that you wanna do. You're gonna mix all that up together in the bowl, get it mixed up just like you're beating up a cake or something, just mix it and whip it all up together. Then once you get that mixed up together, you take your, um, I take my olive oil and just spray it inside of whatever type of casserole pan that you're gonna use. Just spray your spray it down so that it, when you get your, your uh, meal, your casserole get done, it doesn't stick, okay? So you spray your casserole bowl down, you put your uh, meat in there first. Go ahead and put your meat off into your casserole bowl. Once you do that, then you pour your batter mix. You pour your batter mix in there. And once you put your batter mix in there, you put your um, 
some cheddar cheese on top of that or whatever kind of cheese that you like. I mean, it is a cheeseburger uh, casserole, so most cheeseburgers come with cheddar cheese or you can use whatever cheese you wanna use, okay? Or you can mix your cheese in with your batter mix and mix it off in there. Once you you know mix up your batter mix, you put that cheese off in there with that and just pour it on top of your casserole. And then like I said, once you get that done, you're done. That is it. You got your ground beef, you got your uh, vegetables to go with it, your chopped vegetables, your onions, your peppers. You're mixing that together, you're browning that, you're draining that, sitting that to the side. You're gonna mix in a bowl, your biz whiz, your milk, and your two eggs. You're done, mix it up, pour it, you know, bring it all together. And then once you do that, put your cheese on top of it, put it in the oven, let it cook for about, about 20, 25 minutes at the most. At the most, about 25 minutes. Let that come to a brown, get all bubbly up in there and get the cheese melted. Because you gotta realize your ground beef is already done. All you're doing is, is cooking that batter mix and everything coming together. So just get all that together. Done, honey. That's your meal. Like I said, you can put any size with this that you want. It's up to you if you want to put a side. I'm actually gonna later on, and I'm you know I'm gonna do it later because that don't even take about two to five minutes. I'm gonna steam me some broccoli and put on the side of mine with some um, plant-based butter, some vegan butter. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, pour a little vegan butter on top of my broccoli. And that's gonna be my meal for tonight. Now, I don't know what side dad wanted with his, but that's what I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna show you guys the end product, okay? Hold on just a second. <coughs> So here is the ending product to my cheesy cheeseburger casserole. Okay, there you go. And it's just all ready to go right there. So it doesn't, like I said, it's basically just a casserole. It doesn't take that long. And most kids like, like casseroles. You know, most of them do. I think they'll like this one because it has all that cheese and everything in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take a little taste of that off in there. Let me go ahead and taste that, okay. And then if you want on the top of this casserole, you can always put you some green onions, cut you up some green onions and put on there. You can do that too. Let me just take a taste of this. Mm. That is good. Tastes like a cheeseburger. <laughs> There you go. See it? Check it out right there. There you go. Right there. Cheeseburger. I'm going to sit it back over here on the stove. Right there. And let that just kind of sit there and everything. So I'm pretty much done with that. Got that together. Done with that. Got our, I'll put all this stuff up after I get through talking to you guys. Okay? But that's it. So, hold on. I'm going to get me a little cranberry juice. Okay? Hmm. Okay, so you guys know this is Black History Month, okay? February is almost gone. We got a little bit of time left. Probably about, we got about a, hmm, little week, little, about a, about a little, almost two weeks. Okay, today being Monday, being Tuesday, we got till next um, Saturday, the 29th. So we got a few more days, okay? So I've been trying to throw out a little Black History to you guys this whole month as we talk, okay? So I'm just gonna throw a few little facts out here, okay? And of course, if you guys know, uh, come up with anything or research and come up with some things that I haven't mentioned, you're more than welcome to uh, drop me a line about that, okay? All right, I love reading anyway, so anything that you might wanna suggest for me to check out, I'll definitely check it out, okay? So did you guys know that Jack Johnson Back in 1908 was the first black man to win the um, heavyweight um, championship. He held that title back in 1908, okay? That's a little of sports for you, okay? 1908, Jack Johnson, first black man to hold the um, heavyweight boxing championship, okay? And did you guys know that uh, back in 1854, John Mercer Lyson was the first black lawyer that we had. This is back in 1854, and his name was John Mercer 
likes them, okay? And did you know that Miss Hattie McDaniel was the first black uh, person to win the Academy Awards? And that was back in the 1940s, okay? Not only, you know, being the first black person to win the Academy Award, the first woman, black woman, you know, to win this award. So, you know, I I love reading about, um, I love reading period, but when I'm reading about about, about black history and, and things that the African-American slash black folks bought um, into the history of this country, I really love reading about that. I really enjoy it. I try to um, spend a little time talking to my grandkids about it when I talk to them, you know, and then I, you know, throw something right there at them. And like I said, they, they get excited, so they go and Google it, and, and, and then they're, um, they'll talk to me about it and stuff. So I really, um, really enjoy spending that time with them talking about Black History Month and everything. But um, I want to talk to you guys just for the, this, these last couple of minutes. I want to just tell you guys out there uh, how much I appreciate you guys. Uh, I've been doing this YouTube channel a little over a month now, and I, I'm so excited because of, of, of the, this, the the positive um, feedback and everything that I'm getting from from my YouTube channel. Okay, um, you guys don't have to take the time <clears throat> that you give me, and I really appreciate that. And I wanted to let you guys know. How much I appreciate that, my followers that I have. <clears throat> I'm so appreciative of you. Uh, every week is growing. Every week my um, my followers get bigger and bigger. Uh, I'm always open for any feedback. And I know, you know, it's really hard when you put yourself out there on social media because you don't know what type of feedback you're going to get. You just never know what they're going to throw back at you. So you have to really um, have a little tough skin, you know, uh, when it comes to doing this. And sometimes I sit back and I wonder, how do people do this? How do they just make this their job? And they do this all the time because I am a sensitive person. And before I started this journey, I had the conversation with my son and he's like, mom, you, he was telling me, he was like, mom, you gotta, you know, you gotta take the good with the bad. There's gonna be some people that throw some stuff at you that may hurt your feelings or something. So far, I haven't really experienced that. I mean, I've had a, 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 a um, I guess you can say kind of like a not as positive uh, review thrown at me, but it wasn't as bad as it probably could have been. So, you know, I haven't really had that many, that, that bad part of it yet, you know. But what I try to do before I put my stuff out there to you guys, before I bring it to you guys, I try to bounce it off of my friends. And I appreciate you guys because you guys really help me out. <laughs> you know who you are. But I usually try to bounce it off of my friends or off of my daughter. I'll talk to them about a subject that I want to talk about or something that's going on and, you know, it's on my mind. And they'll tell me, uh, uh, what type of approach I should have when I'm talking about that subject or what I should, you know, how I should go about it and stuff. Because like, you know, everybody has their own opinion about anything that's going on. And, 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 and you know, you gotta be open for other people's opinion or open for that discussion. Cause you know, sometimes I say on my um, video, this is greater opinion, okay? And it is, it is my opinion. And I am open, but I'm not, I'm open for a discussion, but I'm not trying to have a debate, okay? I mean, you, you know, I'm not trying to have a debate about it, but I'm open to, to have discussion because there is always areas for improvements or there's always opportunities out there if you listen to the other point of view that you may have not thought about. So I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys so much for giving me so much time. Uh, I appreciate you guys for the ones that has already followed me and subscribed to Kitchen Talk with Grandma. I appreciate you guys so much, okay? So I just want to throw that out there. I wanted to just take a few minutes and um, just let you know how I felt. And I know I've kind of thrown a lot at you today. I went from one extreme to the other extreme. I started out <laughs> telling you guys about this, uh, this um, 
this uh, cheeseburger pie or cheeseburger casserole. Then I went from there to Black History. And now I'm over here talking to you guys about the your appreciation and how much I appreciate you guys, okay? So thank you so very much. And you guys know, you know what the routine is. As you go through your day, make sure everybody you come in contact with, you give them a smile. It doesn't cost you anything. If you have time, to just give them a word of encouragement. Take a minute and, and, and listen to what someone else got going on in their life. You never know what someone has got going on unless you give them a minute of your time to just listen, okay? So thank you so much. Give a smile to everyone. Spread the love. Give a word of encouragement. And just have a great day. Have a great week, okay? And I will see you guys back here in a few, okay? All right, bye. Bye.